So guy, it's Andy from uh, Apocalypse Training Systems. Just having a little drive, so I'll answer a couple of questions. Um, quite a lot of things. One of the questions that I get asked quite a lot is, if they only train like once or twice a week, is that enough? Um, once or twice is better than none, so you're getting something. But like everything, it's good to spread it out through the week. So I always say, three is the magic number. You can get in three good sessions a week. Depending on what your goal is, to be honest. Um, having a goal is really, really important. I say this all the time. You need to have a purpose. Same with everything in life. If you've got, if you've got a business, what's the purpose of your business? Um, you know, you book a holiday, where do you want to go? You don't just get on a plane and jump anywhere. What's the matter? Yeah, having a structure. So get a plan. Three three times the magic number, anything more than that. Could be a bonus. Don't fall into the trap that you have to be beasted in every single session. It doesn't work like that. It might feel good to be thrown up in a bucket at the end of a session. But you know you're not all you're gonna do is you're just gonna train your body to how to well to work harder before you throw in that bucket. Progressive overload is the two main words that you want to consider. Okay, progressive being the key word. If you look at people that are doing training now, so guys like Eddie Hall, the super, super elite, you are unbelievable, way beyond the, the kind of strength stuff that we'll ever, me and what me and you will ever get to. We can aspire to that, but we'll never get to that one. I don't think so. They're just, they're just machines, they're something else, they're on a whole other level. Don't look at the training that they're doing, then apply it straight to yours. It's the worst mistake that you can do, okay? Someone like Eddie Hall has been training for like, you know, for at least 10, 15, maybe 20 years. I'm not quite sure how old he is. Actually, it's like late 20s, so it's possibly like 15 years at least. Yeah, that's 15 years of non-stop commitment to the, to the cars. We and you haven't done that, okay? You might have trained for a long time, but it's not been anywhere near that. So anyway, I'm digressing a little. So pick a good, pick a good program, get a good coach. Start off slowly. Work up to the point where you've seen progression. You've seen, you've seen it in the mirror, you've seen it on the scales of its weight loss that you want to try to do. And like I say, like steady, same if it's weight loss. If, it's, if you're doing, if it's weight loss that you're after, that's your main goal. Please, 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 don't be getting inspiration for things like The Biggest Loser, where it's talking about losing eight, nine, ten pounds a week, because that's just, it's just not sustainable. Okay, there's a reason why shows like The Biggest Loser or anything like that, they don't do a 12 months after. They never see a where are they now because usually they've gone back to being fat and probably a little bit fatter than when they started off or they're all messed up or they've got joint issues or they've got organ issues some kind of shit like that because it's not sustainable you can't go from day one being a total novice to training like an animal you just can't, your body's not used to that you're going to shock your body, you might get, you might get short term progress you might just start losing the pounds and it feels awesome you're not building a solid foundation. So different considerations for what you want to be doing really when you're going into your training. So if it was me, if I was giving advice for someone who came to me and just said, right, and then I need some advice. I've never trained before, but I'll start training. Thank you. Nice person letting me through there. Uh, yeah, so what's some advice about day one training? First thing I'm going to do is said, first of all, get moving. Just get moving. If you've, got, if you've got X amount of weight that you want to lose, start off with, if, you're, if you've gone from like nothing to absolutely on the couch, start off with walking. That could be your daily thing, yeah? Fitbit watches, like this one. I don't endorse them or anything. I don't get any money from them or anything like that. But if you want a little accurate feedback, a little kick in the ribs every time you want to get a little bit of moving, you hit your 10,000 days, it lets you know that. Start with that. Start with 10,000 steps a day, 70,000 steps a week. You know, builds up, 
Um, if you want to get into the gym, start off light. Three sets of four. Uh, three to four sets. Three sets of four. Don't fucking listen. Three to four sets. Anything from eight to twelve. Even even more than that, you want to get some muscle endurance. You want to work that muscle. Um, you want to see how long it can. You want to see how much work it can do. Don't hit the. Please don't pick the heaviest weight in the room. All right. The guy that's doing half reps in the front of a mirror, looking checking himself out after every set. Not even doing full reps, full range. Don't pay attention to that guy. Go light. Feel the muscle working, get a sweat on, that's all it needs. Start and also as well, if you do if you from day one, don't really focus. I personally I wouldn't focus on full body um, on my body split, so I wouldn't have an upper day, I wouldn't do a chest day, I wouldn't do a leg day, I wouldn't do a shoulders day, I wouldn't do a back day, I wouldn't do a biceps day, I wouldn't do a you know calves day. It's just, how many days you got in the week? Do full body, okay? So for me, I'm a nice warm up, a little bit of mobility work. So, you know, I'm not going to go into it in this. Uh, I don't know. Into some kind of compound movements. What I mean by that is, for compound movement, is just getting multi joint movement. Something like a squat. Yeah. So a squat. Learn how to do the basic, obviously the technique, overrules everything. Um, full, so go for full body, but you can pull anything off. If you want to get it off the internet. That's fine. Go off the internet, but go to your limits. Go to your. If you're getting, to, if you're going towards a workout and you can't finish it because it's that tough, you've got a question: Is that the right workout for you? You want to be able to finish it, and you want to feel like a good, solid eight out of ten in effort. So a one being way too easy, to ten being absolute maximum. You can't possibly do anything else. You want to be working at around about an eight, a good solid eight, seven maybe, and you want to be doing that like three. At least three times a week okay um, all the stuff about saying you know if you don't work out on a Monday you know Monday wins and stuff like that or you don't feel or, you know you're losing and stuff like that bullshit okay it's all it is it's just people to try and get in your head to make you feel bad for not training it's good to train but don't deter him don't think don't write off a week because you don't train on a Monday it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard um, if you're gonna train three days a week, who gives a shit what three days they are? Just, just work three, they can just work out three days a week. Um, and that's it. That's it. Any questions that you have, please leave comments. I'm sure I'll cover anything. I've just rambled on while I've been driving a little bit, just for a couple of ideas. But any questions, leave comments below. Um, yeah, more than happy to help and give some more details. All right.